My name is Roger Federer. <laughs> it's pronounced Fedora, you stupid cunt. You're going to get so sued. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, men and girl rights what? <laughs> Dude. I've got like 20 sexy bitches in that window right now, all hot for my human rights. <laughs> and yeah, Karen's one of them. <laughs> Incidentally, it's Ms. Strawn to you, you blaggard. Uh, so what are you up to then, dick? A white nighting pussy chasing mangina conference, uh, but that's been cancelled, apparently due to a severe lack of anger and hatred brought on by a chronic amount or lack of vaginal sex. <clears throat> Sounds like I cut that up, doesn't it? Nope, that's what he uploaded. <laughs> He's just not very good at putting sentences together. <laughs> Even after the edit! <laughs> I'll tell you what he excels at, though. Faggots. <laughs> You've done that before, haven't you? I am not an MRA. I am. I'm a men's rights advocate and a women's rights advocate. And a children's rights advocate. Fuck it, if aliens come from another planet to kill us, I'll probably advocate for their rights too. But I will not follow an ideology. Do you see? The rights of a nation's people are not a problem. National socialism is a problem. The rights of the workers are not a problem. Communism is a problem. And the rights of babbling fuck chunderers are not a problem, but concentrated babbling fuck chunderism, dick, is very much a problem. But I will be making every single argument that you guys make and agreeing with you on every single subject. But that doesn't mean I am one. Because I'm fully aware that men's rights advocate is used as a slur. There are all kinds of terms you could use as a slur. You could call us masculists. You could call us misogynists. Classic. You could make up your own shit, like that incel, whatever. But no, you're quite happy to take the actual legitimate thing that they're fighting for and use that as a slur. What do you want? A foreskin? Ha <laughs> Foreskin loser! What is it with all these foreskin losers? What do you, what, are you there, what's your problem? You want your children back? Ha <laughs> ha! Children mourner! Children mourner! Why are you so hateful, children mourner? It must be because of pussy! I can only think of pussy! What with me being a shamelessly brainless and shallow subtropical forest primate? So yeah, dick! You're talking to people who don't follow labels, who don't follow ideologies, people who are so determined to avoid the pitfalls of these social diseases that they will even get cagey about calling themselves a category of human rights advocate because of the billions of people who consider that category of human rights to be an offensive slur, dick. Now on the subject of people getting asked to be raped, do people ask for it? Kurt Cobain did, my friend. <laughs> and apparently he wasn't the only one. I appreciate your concern, but you'll always stink and burn. Paulie Lamb himself has said that when a woman is on a dance floor, she is literally begging for it. And if he says it, well, I think we can all say it's pretty much on the cards true. Not necessarily, no. The thing you should know about Paulie Lamb is that he has a sense of humour. And it works properly, because he wasn't dropped on his head into a fucking mangle. But what about men who get raped? No one cares about men who get raped. Well, I'd like to bring that up now. Particularly talking about the very thorny issue of men who are raped in prison. Let's face it, they're naked, they're in a shower room, in prison. You're saying stuff that no one's ever said about any demographic, you know that, right? You're saying it to mock something that never happened and you're getting really into it. Really, really into it, dick. People don't even say this shit about Jews. They're practically asking for it, aren't they? Are they just bringing it on themselves? We all know what happens in men's shower rooms in prison. And these men stand in there, naked, rubbing themselves. 
Sarcasm can do strange things to a man's brain, Dick. <laughs> you can only bounce out so many layers before all you're saying is exactly what's on your mind. Sensually, they're bringing it on themselves. They're just begging for it. That was heavy, Dick. And I think we need to discuss that further. Now, on the subject, some feminists will tell you that you need to teach men not to rape. As if you, you cannot teach a man not to rape. Oh, did you see there how you got from men to man like they're the same fucking thing? Something you, if you did with any other demographic would be classed as systemic prejudice. Why should we teach men to defend themselves in any way when we could just teach every woman in the world not to murder? Not to get brain tumours or horrific upbringings? By the way, I'm defining murder as something that can only be committed by someone with a vagina. When men do it, it's just circulatory compromise. Since when did educating people make anyone a better person? Dick, if you spent so much as a day in our education system, then you are the poster child for its abject and catastrophic failure. It's failure to apprehend you before you could walk out of the door. It's failure to refer your shattered corpulence to the underground dog laboratory in bloody Vostok where you belong. I don't need anyone to teach me about what rape is. Dick, mate. <laughs> Sorry? Say some shit no one ever says. No. No, of course it's not rape if she changes her mind halfway through after you've started. If she says no, you finish. I mean, no one who doesn't really like rape fantasies. Why, why would I? Well, because I have literally no respect for her, that's why. If she said yes first, then you have legal ejaculatory rights. Dick, mate. Hmm? Say something self-evidently true. Well, I'm sorry, but drunk consent is still consent. Now argue with yourself for a bit. But it uses the same word. Drunk consent. Consent. So grammatically, I win. Awesome. Now turn drunk into unconscious, but still call it drunk. Given that you believe women's brains lose the power of conscious decision-making as soon as they smelled a waft of Pinot Grigio, unlike men's far superior brains which maintain perfect agency no matter how much fucking crocodile is mainlined into their ear canals. What? What laws? When did the law suddenly decide that being drunk meant you, no, meant you can have a negatively affect your, your ability to make a decision? Since it started telling people that if you choose to drive while drunk, i.e. you consent while drunk to driving while drunk, you don't get to use the excuse, it's not my fault, I chose to go drink driving, I was drunk at the time! Well that's just political correct, it's gone mad, it's, and it's bullshit. <laughs> that is probably what you actually think, isn't it? You broken shard of a walnut, wedged up a rat's ass. As far as I'm concerned, yes. Anyway, yes, so teaching men not to rape. Teach us what, exactly? Uh, don't beat us when we're children. That's a good start. And on the subject of this, the feminist argument of Schrodinger's rapist, saying that women should treat all men as potential rapists. Well, that's just, this is just blatant misandry. This is just blatant sexism to assume that any man you meet is a potential rapist. Was... Any of that's supposed to be a joke? Or are you quite happy being profiled as a rapist? However, conversely, we should look at what the women do. What should the woman's responsibility be? I'm getting a bit bored, Dick. I'll tell you what, can you give me another one of your rape fantasies that no one ever says? It's a well-known scientific fact that short skirt plus alcohol equals rape. That is a fact. Rape is statistically, I think, 98.3% times more less likely to happen if you dress down and drink moderately. Awesome, now throw in some brown ones. Let's get that interracial rape fantasy you've always dreamed of. This is why in countries in the Middle East, in Islamic theocracies, where women are forbidden to drink and wear burqas, there are no reports of rape whatsoever, right? But in the West, it's different, right? You have to understand. Right, now say some shit that you only ever hear from feminists. Right, men 
have urges and desires so powerful that each and every one of us are literally cannot control what we do. So it's up to the woman to make sure that she goes out with that in mind. Yeah. You just described hashtag yes all women and you also just described Schrodinger's rapist. You fucking knob warmer. But don't you dare say that all men are potential rapists, you gynocratic minge Nazi. Oh, I'm using that. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting a gem like that, Dick. Fucking more of those, please. And why, why, do, we, why do women always want to date men who are total arseholes? <laughs> yeah. MRAs aren't the people asking that question. They're the people answering it. You just don't like the answer. Nobody does. <laughs> nice guys always get pushed to the side and ignored. Seriously, I'm a genuinely nice, polite, decent guy. Dude, you can't just oscillate between MRAs and pussy beggars. <laughs> MRAs do not think they're nice guys. They're fully aware that people think they're the scum of the earth and they don't give a fuck. People who whinge about being nice and never getting laid are, well, every pathetic feminist beta male ever, and most single women. So why won't any of these stupid whores spread their legs and fuck me? And now your head's gone right back into your fucking nutsack, where it really seems to enjoy life. Do you think this is going to put people off wanting their children back? What is the point of being nice to women if we're never going to get some kind of reward out of it? <laughs> And what's the point in marrying a man if you don't get to ruin his life whenever you feel like it? As basic economics, people. And do women think that men are ever really, are ever really being nice to them because they have a nice personality? Dick, mate. You just sarcastically painted niceness as disingenuous. And you are now sarcastically mocking the act of sarcastically painting niceness as disingenuous. You retard the size of a planet. Sorry, ladies, but the fact is that if you lot didn't have vagina vaginas, you know, you would not fuck any man. <laughs> and if men didn't have dicks, they wouldn't fuck anyone either. I know these human rights advocates are confusing as fuck with all this fanciful sex ed 101 shit. <laughs> now talk exactly like a feminist again. No man would fuck you, and would ever talk to you, no man would go near you. Basically, we just pretend to like you for who you are, and say that we care about you, because we just want to fuck you, we want sex from you, that's it. Wicked. Carry on, say more things that only feminists say. Do you know what I hate more though? There's nothing I hate more than seeing a young attractive woman with some multi-millionaire three times her age. Now take a sharp left turn and say something blatantly true. She's obviously not interested in him for anything more than his money, so that she can get in the will and be sorted out for life. Why do men get treated like sex-mad animals with no emotions? Why is that? Gee, I don't know. Why is it when they ask that question, do you repeat it back to them like it's a ridiculous question? Men, as we all know, are seen. As we all know, men are disposable. We all know this, the disposable male theory. It's been proven. It's not a theory. It's an unavoidable observation. <laughs> you're summarising it well enough, but you're just making it sound very whiny and very, very gobshitey. Men are seen as disposable. We can easily be discarded and replaced by women, and nobody will care or notice us. We aren't seen as people. Our only use is to be used, abused, and quickly thrown away as if it's all meaningless. Well, I say fuck that. I'm going my own way. Oh, well, that's MGTOW. That's not MRAs. Men going their own way are people who've decided they don't want to get married or let their identities be defined by societal consensus. MRAs are people who would like the law to change so as to accommodate all children having intact genitals and all parents having fair custody and all people having the right to due process and whatnot. But there's no difference to you, is there, dick? None of those, those annoying detaily things matter as long as it's got men in the title. But people haven't really heard of MGTOWs. They're not in the limelight. They're not the ones being wrongfully blamed by the media for mass murders that had nothing to do with them. Even though MGTOW is the place where actual misogynists tend to go, it doesn't matter that men's rights advocates are the only people on the planet organising to prevent baby mutilation. They're the ones you have to attack. Because those are the three little letters everyone's patting themselves on the back about lampooning right now. The mob has spoken. They don't care about men going their own way. That doesn't bother anyone. But really? ticks them off, 
is when men ask for human rights. I'm going to get a hotel and a skanky prostitute. And they don't even care how fucking stupid they sound. That'll cheer me up. And how dare courts rule in favour of the mother always. As if there's any reason to suspect that men might have no responsibility. So the courts should always rule in favour of the mother? Because men might have no responsibility? So women should remain infallible in our family courts, no matter what they do. You're right, that totally doesn't sound like a problem that needs fixing. Which is why we need to bring in financial abortion, so that men can quickly, and for no reason whatsoever, and with no notice, quickly cut off all their responsibilities of child support. Like women can. It would be a nice stopgap, at least. Given that, if you're a man and you don't want the full responsibilities of parenthood, your only sure option is never having sex with a woman, ever. Can you teach all men to do that? Or will you carry on bitching at them for never getting laid like the snot-nosed fucking schoolboy you are? That'll show them that we're responsible. What, asking women to take equal responsibility? Now you mention it, yes, that does sound like quite a responsible thing to ask. Speaking of men going their own way, I used to be a MGTOW, a member of men going their own way, but I'm decided to go my own way from men going their own way. Men going their own way. It's a new group. It's called Men Going Their Own Way. On my own. Quite a lot. Now I have a sore hand. So you have... Brilliant, by the way. So you have fully heard of MGTOW, then, and that they're the ones not getting laid. But you're, you just said it's the human rights advocates you'd rather attack because they're the ones it's cool to attack. It's called M-G-T-O-W-O-M-O-Q-A-L-I-H-A-S-H. -H. You want to figure out how to pronounce that? It's Mugtawamakali hash. It's not in the least bit difficult. It's Mugtawamakalni hash if you include the N that you forgot. <laughs> or could you not even pronounce N? And apparently there's this big fuss over the fact that there was a survey done of MRAs on, uh, on the internet. Well, the only place you can find us. It's the only place we're safe from all the death threats, bro. Oh, funny as fuck. Tell you what, give us another quick rape fantasy. And it said, if you saw a woman getting raped in an alleyway, would you help? Would you help out? Would you help if you saw a woman getting raped in an alleyway? 2% said no, and the other 98% said yes. Putting in the proviso, yes, we would definitely help out. Because most of us have probably never had a threesome. And apparently there's this big fuss over the fact that apparently they meant, no, would you help the woman being raped, not the rapist? How long do you spend thinking about amusing ways to rape women, dick? Not you, settle down. But we must continue in our strategy. We must continue to go forth on the internet, hanging around on Reddit and other chat forums, and flooding other internet videos. You mean communicating on the internet? And we must do this with a relentless, militant aggression. You mean continuing to communicate on the internet? So that it gives the impression to people that all we do is sit on our asses all day, spamming videos. Communicating. Insulting people. Communicating with bigots who find human rights insulting. And threatening feminists with rape. Communicating with hysterical bigots who find human rights threatening. As if they're not grateful. That is all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roger Federer. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It has been an excruciating bowel movement listening to you. On a side note... Oh, for fuck's sake! And a serious point here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be my one and only video on the men's rights issue, and I know the comment section is going to explode with anger, but you need to realise something, lads and ladies, the few that there are. This is how you appear to me. Dick. How the world appears to you is not real, okay? The, the purple gremlins that appear all over your eyeballs every time you fall asleep screaming, they're not real, dick. Nobody is under any obligation to adjust their behavior according to how you see them. You fell off a boat, dick. Nobody knows what you are. And most other people. And you don't get to speak for other people either. Other people aren't like you. Only three people in the history of the world have ever been as batshit mentaloid as you. And they all ate themselves because they couldn't deal with it, dick! And I'm not gonna pretend. 
I'm not going to be one of these people who pretends that the extremist or the radical or the abusive nasty ass fu nasty assholes in your movement who fill up comment sections and make horrid fucking comments on Twitter and Facebook and God knows where else. I'm not going to pretend that the abusive, hateful, bigoted elements of the men's rights movement are a minority. Well, that explains why for every thousand video views I get, there are at least 501 people posting abusive comments. Oh, wait, it's fucking none. You get abusive comments on your shit, dick. You get abusive comments wherever you go because you're a walking cunt factory. I'm not going to pretend that. I know we always say that with other fucking groups, right? Because it tends to actually be the case. But in my opinion, as far I've given the men's rights movement, seriously, I've tried for years. You've tried what, Dick? Coming up with rape fantasies. Did that take years? Do you come up with these morning, noon and night and you just whittle them down to your favourite few rape fantasies? We're trying to help children! And you are spouting badly written horror porn for ages 12 to 15. You utterly fuckless, double lobotomized wanker! I've been paying attention and giving a chance, right? In my whole fucking life, and dealing with you people, I can honestly say I've met four men's rights activists whose person who, who, who personally I could tolerate. Dick, I don't expect you to ever truly crack this, but it's something you need to wrestle with, okay? You do not tolerate people, okay? People tolerate you. If you have spent more than 10 seconds communicating with a person, and that person has not sawed their own head off in despair, it is because that person possesses, frankly, godlike powers of patience. And there probably are four MRAs who can stomach you, dick. I can believe it. Because it takes never-ending patience just to be an MRA. Who were those four, by the way? I'm just now realising they were probably only eyeball gremlins. Or who I found to be decent human beings with, us, with whose intentions were noble. That's four, and that's probably more than most other people like me could fucking say anyway. Again, there are no people like you. There are extinct lemurs like you, there are pieces of driftwood like you, there are unusably piss-logged strips of arable land like you, but the only time such a clattering cascade of failed matter ever coalesced into something resembling a human being is this useless fucking cluster cunt I'm currently talking to. When I'm dealing with the BMP or the EDL or the KKK or the Westboro Baptist Church or Peter or Nambla or S or the or, or Scion, Holy shit, just how many rape fantasies do you have to come up with? You must be working around the fucking clock. I don't fucking sit here and pretend that it's only the fucking mind. No, fuck them. They're an extremist group. They're made up of extremists. They're made up of hateful bigots. Just out of interest, Dick, are there any groups or movements who you don't find unpalatably insane? If you're this upset about not mutilating babies, then where exactly the fuck do you go from here? And that's what it is. And if you are, well, if you are one, of those men's rights activists who cares about men's rights. That will be all of them, dickhead. It's in the name. Right. Then can I suggest you clean up your own house? It's not my fault that this is how I view you. Yes, it fucking is, dick. And there's your problem. How you view the world is entirely your fault because you are entirely faulty. It doesn't matter how much anyone cleans their house, you won't see a house. You will see dragons raping each other, you maniac! Because this is all you've given me. This is all I can see around me. Yes, Dick, go into the light. Next time that eerie blue portal opens up in the floor beneath you, I want you to jump into it, okay? Stay there, jumping into the portal as hard as you can and wait for the ambulance to arrive. The room's about to go white, okay? Embrace change. Right? It's, if you are a civil rights group, right, if that's what you want me to believe you are, you need to start acting like one. Not just a bunch of whiny butthurt bitches on the internet. Where are you? Where the fuck are you right fucking now, you dickwad? There are men's rights activists doing things in real life, but you don't hear about them, dick, because real life to you was a very, very long time ago in a galaxy very, very far away. Who go around and abuse- Oh, you're a white knight in pussy chasing in my diner. Good. I'm glad I am. Good. Well, act like one. Oh, wait, you are! Do you know why? Because you don't have a fucking clue how to string a coherent thought together, dick. Because if the alternative is being you, I'd ra I'm happy the way it is, right? But as far as you guys being a civil rights movement, well, I can't see much being civil. I can't see you doing much in the way of rights. And I certainly don't see anything in the form of movement. You can't see anything, dick. ANYTHING!
Accept a never-ending tape loop of your parents getting raped or something. Please, section yourself. It is your only shot at a happy life. If you want your movement to progress beyond being a bunch of second-rate beatards on the internet, then that's for you to clear up. Not me. Because it's not my movement. Then it's a good thing no one asks you to clean a fucking thing up, dick! It's a good thing no one ever comes to you to clean anything up, on account of you being quite possibly the messiest individual in the history of the internet, and that is saying something! Hope that clears the air. Air is normally clear, dick. Healthy people don't look at the air and see a fog bank of translucent onion gravy with billions of tiny penguins swimming in it. Dick Dynasty 666. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? When you say fun, do you mean you want to rape everyone? You're a dangerous and terrifying human being, Dick. Please keep doing what you're doing. You are medically and zoologically unique. Goodbye and fuck right off.